majority of my life, you know, my dad and my mom were really around and uh, that did also take a big toll on me and I used food to cope with my emotions to, uh, you know, make me feel good. You know, I didn't really go out. My buddies wanted to take me out and I just kind of refused and I wanted to stay home and just, you know, get on my gaming set and just uh, play games all day. Again, I want to thank oh, everybody. Shit. Yeah, 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 here it comes. Okay, okay I'm ready. So your boy's about to do a full day reading. You guys have requested it. So, hey, that being said, guys, what is up now with the Beast Checking? And hopefully you guys are having a great day. Hopefully you guys are smiling. Hopefully you guys, you know, are rejoicing because you're living and breathing another day. And that's all that matters. Alrighty, anyways, guys, so I have not eaten at all today. I just did my cardio. I did my workout. I did legs. But anyways, guys, I'm going to show you guys the meal number one. Um, We actually have 24-hour duty today, so... So that's gonna be pretty painful, but hey, your boy's gonna push through. That's what he does. We adapt and overcome. So hopefully you guys are doing the same thing. So without further ado, let's get some comida. All right, meal number one is gonna be two English Delight McMuffins. Yo, these are really, really good. When it comes to the macros, I just dropped them all over the place. But anyways, you got eight grams of fat, you got 32 grams of carbs and 17 grams of protein. Pretty good stuff here for two of them, not too bad. Um, like I said, as your calories drop throughout the week, you're gonna obviously wanna you know, substitute this for maybe egg whites or something like that. But yeah, we're gonna have that and we're gonna have two light and fig Greek yogurts, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys the end product real quick. And uh, yeah. Cooked up, nice and ready to go. And then on top of that, we got two light and fig Greek yogurts. Look at that. that. That looks like it just came out of McDonald's, man. You know. Mmm. The thing is, guys, be sure to hydrate. Throughout the day, just hydrate, hydrate. Just keep drinking water. What you're gonna do, grab yourself a fork, preferably plastic because you don't have to wash it afterwards. And then, da, 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 there it is. Oh snap. Yup, this is a secret, guys. So, boom. Put this right here. About two servings. Bam. There you go. Fat free whipped cream and some Greek yogurt. And it feels like you're having a cake, but not really. Mentally, you gotta think you're having one just so you can kind of stay. You know, you don't go crazy or anything like that. So, that being said, that is tip number two. So, I'm gonna have these two things, uh, two Greek yogurts, and then we will move on to the next meal. So, I will see you guys in the next clip. I gotta get ready for duty, and uh, these next 24 hours are going to suck. So, cheers. Mm. Guys, so, it's time for duty. So, I'll see you guys during lunchtime. So that being said, your boy is gonna be a little tired today, but hey, he's still gonna produce a video. He's still gonna go out here and do his thing. But uh, it is currently chow right now. Uh, a duty is actually on post right now, so I'm gonna take a quick chow break, about 20 minutes, and then go back on post. But I'm gonna show you guys my second meal of the day. So like I said, guys, let me take this off. The app I use, guys, my fitness pal is the perfect app. You use it, track all your meals. I actually haven't tracked my breakfast, which I'm gonna do that right now. That free whipped cream. It's that simple, okay? So before you guys start commenting, well, now, oh my God, this is, you know, it's gonna take time. You know, it's it's a little, you know, irritating because you're gonna have to track everything you eat. Well, hey man, that's how you do it. There's no way about it. If you wanna get where you wanna get, then by all means, either portion control or tracking your calories. Simple as that, guys. But let's make meal number two. I think I'm gonna go with the ghetto tacos today. I'm gonna go with the ghetto tacos because I haven't used my ghetto meals. So today, bum -ba -rum -ba -bum. Ghetto tacos, hey, hey. So, tortillas, baked ruffles, the limo store, bam. Hey, and I got some Taco Bell sauce, bro, hey. Some Taco Bell sauce, because we wanna add a little spiciness. And then, bam, bro. So, some black boy's ham. Alrighty, ghetto taco tutorial. Coming at you, all right. So basically, guys, like I said, you want your tortillas, doesn't matter what kind, as long as they have pretty good macros. This one's you're aiming at 100 calories, three grams of fat, 21 grams of carbs, and eight grams of protein, so not too bad. So I'm gonna use 11 crisps, that's what it is. So, all right, you wanna add that little kick to it? Bam. Some Taco Bell sauce. <laughs> Yo, this is so ghetto, guys. And then, Secret recipe right here. 
and this one has relatively no calories so this is yeah zero calories so hey we're gonna give it a little test try you know we had the little sauce to give it that little you know little kick mm. yo so that being said let me know if you guys make the ghetto taco i mean if you have a kitchen you have all these utensils and bow means you don't have to do the ghetto taco way but if you're in my situation you're in the military you got nothing to use and hey ghetto tacos is the way to go so that being said i'm gonna eat two of these go back post and then finish up my duty for the next 24 hours so yeah All right, so I'm gonna finish it off with two Greek yogurts. But before we eat this, guys, um, I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys. All jokes aside, you know, um, being serious and being personal with you guys, and that is, uh, you know, um, I want to touch upon a topic that I haven't really talked about in a while, and that was my childhood, you know, obesity. My childhood, uh, you know, um, how I was raised, you know, coming from a Hispanic family, um, the things that you know I ate majority of the time that caused me to get to where I was, and you know, I always question myself, you know, how did I get myself to that point? And it was because I was influenced a lot throughout my life. You know, uh, growing up, you know, especially deep South Texas, you know, you're surrounded by, you know, tacos, freaking burgers and all that good stuff. And, you know, my, my family, mom and dad, you know, they broke up at a very young age. You know, they, uh, you know, they got a divorce, whatever, uh, it took an impact on me. But then eventually, you know, I, I kind of got used to it. It kind of sucked growing up without, you know, that father figure being there with you all the time. I'm not saying that my dad wasn't there, but um, he wasn't really in the picture as much as I wanted him to be. Um, I didn't really have that role model to look up to, so that's when the whole YouTube thing came along and I started looking up at YouTubers as my role models. Uh, my mom was always working. She was trying to give me and my brother a better life. And uh, majority of the time, I was spent alone. And when I was spent alone, you know, I, I used food to uh, keep me company in a way. So um, that being said, that led to my obesity. Um, soon led to almost uh, possibly getting diabetes. I was down that path. Uh, doctors were telling me like you need to stop. I told my mom. My mom didn't really know what to do. Um, she was kind of just, you know, me whole like just stop eating bad. But I just, you know, I kind of blew her off and just said, Mom, I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna do me, and I didn't do me for quite some time until one day I lost it. I lost it. I looked at myself in the mirror. Um, I cried. I broke down. And for some weird reason, I got a call from my uncle. And he was like, hey man, um, I just downloaded this program. Uh, I just got, got this program called Insanity. And it's a weight loss program, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's 60 days. And I thought to myself, wow, okay, um, do you have an extra copy? He said, yeah, I have an extra copy. Um, I want to see if I can bring it to you. And so from there on forward, I decided to do the program. I decided to do the program Insanity. Um, first round, you know, I hated life. I hated it. It sucked. I wanted to cry every day. It was it was blood, sweat, and tears left on that damn, um, you know, uh, living room. And my brother would be like, "Dude, what's this guy doing?" He'd be like, "All right, whatever." And I just kept doing it. I kept doing it every day. I kept pressing play, even though I didn't want to. Sean T, my boy, he's freaking there, you know, doing his thing. I'm following along. I'm doing what I have to do. And uh, eventually, you know, first 60 days, I didn't really follow the diet. I just kind of did the workouts. I lost some weight. People were like, "Wow, now you look good. You look good." And I liked that. I craved it more. And I kept doing the program again. I did it in the second round. Boom. Lost even more weight. Went to another school. Um, and that's when I'm like, dude, I want to improve even more. And so I did P90X. Um, did that for two rounds. So that's more. And then after that, I got P90X2. Did that as well. So in about two, a year and two, or about one to two years, that's when I was entering my sophomore year. And that's when I introduced myself into, you know, bodybuilding. That's why I got into YouTube a lot and started looking at like Christian Guzman, Chris Jones, all these uh, YouTubers. And um, that's when I started doing bodybuilding. And, um, you know, um, that being said, you know, it was definitely a, a path that I know a lot of you guys are on. You know, you, you feel helpless. You feel like, you know, there's no way out. But I'm telling you right now, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. No matter what you put yourself mentally up here, you may think that there's, there's like everything's going wrong. But I'm telling you, if you just change that mindset, you just flip the switch and you realize all these blessings that you have every day, your, life, your, your day turns better. Like, you know, sometimes my life sucks and I'm going to be real with you guys. My life freaking sucks sometimes. And I'm just like, dude, why the hell am I in this situation? Why am I in this situation? But then I start kind of 
taking a step back, and I always tell you guys, is I start focusing on the positive things. Like, look at me. I'm in a foreign country. Not a lot of people get this opportunity. Yes, we're restricted a lot, but hey, these restrictions are here for a place. Um, it better, it makes us a better person, builds character. You know, I'm able to do this. I'm um, have you guys, and I start to realize all these positive things, and that kind of starts to outweigh the negatives. So, just realize that, guys. If you're in a hole, just just realize that you you can get out of it. Okay. So, that being said, my childhood. I'm gonna go more in depth with it for a different video, but that's just kind of briefly on what happened. I was overweight, so. That being said, that's why I'm making this video, just to kind of show you guys the little guidelines. You know, you don't necessarily have to follow this diet. You don't necessarily have to eat these ghetto meals. But just to give you a little, like, taste of, you know, some of the things that I eat, you know, um, and calculating macros and stuff like that, um, I'll definitely try to do a video. But I'm sure there's a lot of videos on YouTube. All right, Google. Hey, Google's the best place where you can find some answers. So that being said, um, yeah, just want to talk to you guys really quick. But this is going to be meal number two, two Greek yogurts, some fat free whipped cream once again. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually go back on duty. So... Later guys, and I will check in with you guys later on tonight. Alright gents, so we are back for a midday snack. So we got some more tortillas, we got a plate, and then um, we got some PB2. So PB2, and we have Splenda. Splenda, I'll show you guys real quick what is up. We do, gonna mix this PB. Bam, look at that consistency guys. Look at it, look at that. All right, gonna mix it up. There you have it, your PB. What you wanna do is obviously grab your tortilla, and boom, there you go. Yeah. Mm. There you have it, guys. PB2 protein pack tortilla sandwich. Mm. Literally the same thing. You're saving so many calories using the powder rather than using the actual peanut butter. Alrighty guys, well hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, my last meal was actually a Quest Bar. It was a chocolate chip Quest Bar, which I didn't really record because it was just a Quest Bar that I had on duty. Right now I'm actually going through my duty recovery phase. Well, not duty recovery, but this is actually my time to sleep. My A duty is actually posted right now, so I'm currently uh, gonna sleep. But instead of sleeping, you know, your boy's editing the video. He's not gonna sleep, he's gonna stay here for the next 24 hours. He's gotta go to work the next day, so it's gonna be a pretty long day tomorrow as well. Um, so that being said, my my protein, my carbs, and my fats are 55 fats, 280 carbs, and 200 protein. So that's how I calculate it here on my fitness pal. So I'm able to put in all my stuff. Bam. Uh, actually, let me go to my diary. I'm able to track all my stuff. So do the same thing, guys. All right, it, it, it's really not that hard. So we got the baked ruffles, you know, PV2, you got the... You know, tortilla wraps, you got the ham, you got all that good stuff. So like I said, guys, it's not that hard. It's not that, you know, complicated. Don't overcomplicate things, all right? You just got to be in a caloric deficit. And what that means is you just got to eat less. You got to do cardio. You got to go to the gym. It's going to suck. You're going to wear and tear. It's going to, you know, it's going to hit you sometimes. But hey, you got to focus in on that end goal. You got to freaking focus on that, that end goal. That's what's going to keep driving you. So, you know, um, like I always say, hey, the first 10 minutes, it's going to be satisfying. You're going to be eating all that good food. You're going to be like, you know, screw this diet. Screw what not says I'm gonna do my own thing I don't care what he has to say um yeah go go for it by all means but afterwards you're gonna feel like crap you're gonna be like damn I should have probably you know you know had some more discipline and stuff like that so hey man just realize the end goal rather than you know satisfying yourself for those you know 10 minutes or five minutes or however how much ever time it takes you to eat like a, a, a cheat meal or whatever so uh, that being said guys let me know what you guys think about the video I know this wasn't a crazy video but I want to produce something for you guys I don't want to leave you guys hanging more than two days I want to you know keep keep updating you guys and I know you guys love the videos so um, yeah that being said guys let me know what you guys think and if you guys want to see more videos about my life um, then by all means comment down below hashtag fuego for this point of this video I love you guys I truly appreciate you guys and um, I'm really tired right now but hey you know what hey we do what we do we push through and we adapt and overcome so that being said guys remember stay hungry stay home with your life now that you keep doing you and go about your day don't listen to people in silence because you got one life your life makes shit happen instead of silence and mobile life be sure to support the fuego movement you guys already know link in the description use code nava save 10 percent off I love you guys and uh, hey man it's another day all right 2018 like you said year make those goals happen if you already messed up at this point hey just get back up keep trying again okay i love you guys soy el fuego que